there's a lot of trauma associated with the enslavement of people. There's a great amount of trauma. And so it doesn't surprise me when people don't want to look at the trauma, when it's too painful, when you don't know how to approach it, you know. And somebody made an, an interesting analogy when he said, it's like asking a rape victim to forget about the rape when they're still living in the same house with the rapist. It's hard. And I'm just giving you this point of view because that's the point of view that's been brought to me through Dr. Joy DeGruy, but it. And I'm putting it on the table as something for us as Africans to ponder. Think about that for a minute, you know. And then because we have, in order for us to be able to move to, forward together, we have to really look at what happened to Africans and what happened to African Americans. Then we are able to ask questions before you make judgment and prejud prejudicial conclusions about people, that you take a moment and think about it for a minute and say, hmm, I wonder if this is as a result of this. Ask questions. I think that's the only way for us to look at our history as people, because Africans have to do the same thing. These decisions that I'm making right now, I wonder if colonialism and what I was taught in there about myself is playing into this. Because ultimately what Bound is talking about is hopefully that we will find a way to get back to ourselves. Because that's what was erased, is this part of this African, this blackness about you is not... It's uncivilized, and it needs to be civilized. It's a pagan. It needs Christianity or Islam or whatever. It is non-productive. It needs to be commercialized. Mm -hmm. So the very basis, basis of who we are as a people, some of that stuff was, was erased. And so it's a return to that because that is, in essence, our history. 